how's it going, guys? Uh, it's Robin Bougie uh, in the Bougie Studio. Um, I'm eating Doritos. <laughs> They're good. My wife hates when I eat Doritos because I always, I always suck the flavor off first before I eat them. <laughs> like grosses her out. She's like, just eat the chips like a normal person. Oh, I ate that one. I was trying to suck the flavor off for you. I don't know why. It wasn't enough just to tell you. I had to, I had to do it. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing a little more inking today. So, um, I'm going to have a look. Doing this uh, illustration. It says, Office Politics. Jennings, take a note. I want to announce that this merger is a done deal. Yes, sir. And then there's craziness happening down here. It's not quite finished, but it's coming together. <laughs> Ink some of it here while I'm chatting with you. Um, there's one thing I can show you before I get too into this. Is um, Somebody was asking me about what I do to fix mistakes. And um, what, I, what I use is, um, there's this pen. It's called the Jelly Roll. <laughs> which is kind of great. And uh, it's just for doing like little tiny details. Just like little tiny spots of white. It's great for um, uh, just fixing like, just if you make like a little mistake I and mean, you don't want to like blop a big giant thing of white out on it. Because that's a bummer. Uh, and uh, what I use for bigger mistakes uh, is this Pentel uh, correction pen. And um, that's, you take the tip off of that and uh, you got to shake it around a little bit. Uh, and then it just kind of kind of blops out. See how come the line comes out a little bit thicker than that one? So that's good for a little bit bigger mistakes. Um, the thing with um, that, uh, though, is that um, with whiteout is um, a lot of times when you make a mistake, you have to go back over it again and draw, you know, the proper thing on there. Uh, except um, the pens that I use, these microns, um, they don't work over top of whiteout. So um, when you put when you put them on top of whiteout, they'll smudge. Uh, or um, if you go to erase your pencil lines, uh, the pen will just come right off the whiteout. So um, I find that the Sharpie um, Ultra Fine Point works over top of uh, whiteout and uh, doesn't smudge. So um, that's what I found after years of trial and error. Um, these are harder and harder to find. You can find the big, you know, the giant uh, chisel tip uh, sharpies quite easily, um, but they're completely useless um, to work over top of whiteout because the tip is so huge. So see if you can find these uh, ultra fine point sharpies. Um, they're good for working on whiteout. Um, other artists I know use um, Pro White, uh, which is uh, you put on with a brush, but I prefer to use the little pen tips. I find it's uh, easier. And works uh, works better for me anyway. So I'm just gonna do some more inking here. Uh, yes. How you guys been? Everything's good. Not too stressed about anything. I hope. <laughs> been pretty quiet tonight. It's getting freaking cold. Of course, cold in Vancouver is uh, really nothing compared to the way it is <laughs> anywhere else. At least in Canada, anyway. I felt kind of ashamed, actually, complaining about the cold tonight, considering uh, what the rest of the country is putting up with. But I did anyway. I complained about it. <laughs> that wasn't enough to stop me. <laughs> I was thinking the other day about um, visual, uh, basically a drawing from your head, and... Um, versus uh, drawing from reference or drawing from, uh, uh, you know, copying or um, using basically visual stimuli to get your, your brain working. I'm the type of artist that really needs uh, something visual to kind of get me, um, to get my, my hand um, transmitting from what's going on in my brain to get it down to my hand. <laughs> it's a long trip. It's all the way down there. Um, which is why I have a lot of um, art on the walls in my studio. 
and um, and which is why also I, I work from uh, a lot of photo reference, or sometimes I just look at other cartoonists' work. Um, I don't wholesale rip it off or anything, but it's it's nice to have um, just a little something there, you know, to kind of just get the synapses firing and get everything just kind of popping and, and locking, <laughs> get things going. One of the things I like to look at actually is um, other artists' uh, sketchbooks. Um, so, for instance, uh, here's one called uh, Go for the Gold. And uh, it's a Meat House collection um, full of all different artists' uh, sketches, st stuff from their sketchbooks. And uh, I, know, I really like kind of thumbing through this and just kind of seeing what other artists do to get their, get their motor running. <laughs> and then to head out on the highway. Uh, another artist that uh, I really like uh, is uh, Brandon Graham. Uh, he's got this uh, sketchbook collection called uh, Walrus, which you can pick up in finer comic book stores. Um, but yeah, he's a great artist. And uh, his sketches um, just kind of blow me away. It's stuff from a sketchbook. Really talented. Um, but yeah, I like I like looking and seeing what other artists have, have done in their sketchbook and, and what, what what they've done to warm up. Kind of helps me uh, get my brain working as well. Anyway, that's about it for today. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on this stuff. It's getting kind of late. Maybe it's time to go home. I had my uh, cup of noodle, and uh, <laughs> it was good. It was kind of they're really kind of salty, salty old cup of noodles. <laughs> anyway, have a great night, you guys.